Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well. I'm not alone. Hello! <laughs> it's half term. What does that mean? That means Off school. school. For two weeks! Yay! I nearly said four then. And you said four. I nearly did. What that means is that I have child labour to help me out. And also, um, it's one of the final videos in the kitchen, isn't it? Yeah. Don't be shy. <laughs> um, you might remember the MVK tries playlist. I've already attempted the Gordon Ramsay beef Wellington. I attempted the Heston's ice cream, but now the kids are fronting up to something. What are you going to try? Frob scuttle from the BFG. Now I, believe it or not, with my extensive film knowledge, have not seen the BFG. As you know, I've probably seen Back to the Future a billion times, but BFG, I've avoided it. I kind of know the story of it roughly, but um, what is Frob Scottle? It's from Roll Dolls or Roll Tin Recipes. Yeah. And Roll Doll was the author. And it's basically the girl Sophie is kind of the main character. And she sees the bubbles go down, but in lemonade they go up. That makes you burp. So if it goes down, it makes you pop off. Pop off? <laughs> yeah. Or uh, as a lot of you say, Trump. We call it Trump now. Okay. People like it's sort of like a, an older joke. People like that. Trump. A bit like Donald Trump. Yes, Chloe. <laughs> you know what, guys? Thinking of something that pops up. Uh, Mummy has uh, recently had some beetroot hummus. Do you know about that? Yeah. yeah. There's been a lot of it in the fridge. Let's see if we've got any. Mm-hmm. Probably got like three pots. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> this it's is... Yes, but it's also Trump paste. <laughs> Mrs. Barry has this, and boy, do we need to open those windows, right? Yeah. They're being too polite. Honestly, if you have beetroot hummus, woo! You're gonna need to get some air freshener. A Febreze shower, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, are you ready to do this? Oh, actually, yeah. Roald Dahl has some, um, where we live, we live in Western Supermare. Roald Dahl, I think, grew up, grew up here. Rolled down. Jeez, Chloe! Whoa! We gotta take that with us. <laughs> I'm not quite good at shutting the No, you're not for, quite good at shutting the uh... <laughs> We're quite savage with it. Ah, there's actually a blue plaque in our hometown of Rolled Dial somewhere. You know they have them on we should have one of the older when we move out of this house, stick a blue plaque. MVK was born here. Roald Dahl's five things he said about his time in Western Supermare. He was born a century ago and his tales, including James the Giant, blah, 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 but he spent his early school years in Western Supermare and his experiences may have shaped the books that he would write as an adult. Here are five things that he said about our hometown. Sorry, this is interesting for me. He described Western as a slightly seedy seaside resort. Yeah. He wasn't exactly the glowing about the school either. St. Peter was on a hill above the town. It was a long three-story stone building that looked rather like a private lunatic asylum. Okay. No, that other one's a bit boring. In his first letter to his mum, he told her he was having a lovely time and played football every day, but during those weekly letter writing sessions, Mr. Dahl recalled the headmaster patrolling the room. He would check for spelling mistakes and that nothing negative was being said about the school. Oh my gosh. You all right, Chloe? Sorry, is this boring you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Randomly, just looking at World Dolls books. Oh yeah, Chloe, what was the recipe you wanted to do? Bruce Bog Trotter cake? Is that yeah. it? Yeah, it's in this Yeah, book. from Matilda. I've not seen that either, but I know of it, and we will do that if you want to see it. Yeah, I love chocolate. Oh, and Mr. Dahl didn't have the best time at school. He was homesick through the whole of the first yeah. term and even devised a scheme to leave. He pretended that he had appendicitis, and he was sent home. The doctor in Wales saw through his, straight, his act straight away, but promised to tell the school <laughs> he had an infection. Oh, that does look good. Right, frob, scottle, yeah? Yeah. I thought it was frog. It's frob. Is it made with frogs? No. Yeah, yeah it's... I'm with them guys. I don't know what's going on. Step one. <laughs> Why are you doing it like? I don't know. I see step it. Step one. <laughs> <laughs> step one. Right. We need to peel eight kiwis. <laughs> That's. Go on then. I ain't helping you. Oh. You want to drink this? You do it yourself. Look at Harry. I'm doing cross eye. Uh... They're like felt. Ooh. They look like potatoes. Yeah, uh, they look like potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Phoebe's the posh one. I know. But they look like potatoes. 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 Okay. And breathe. <sighs> there you go. See? Do you want 
you want Daddy to do this step? Because it's a bit adult here. Do you want to try? Yeah. I'll try. Mm. You can also do it with a knife, can't you? There's loads of different things. Do it. He's a hang of it in our house. <laughs> Mom, All right, we're going to cut well, these, these peewees. peewees you're, you're good at peeling um, peewee, kiwis. Becky's mum is allergic to kiwi fruit. So these kids have never had kiwi before, have you? She said they haven't. So we could give you a nice little allergy thing. Sorry. Oh, let's hope we won't. You, you never know. We might be allergic. Let's be sick. Once the kiwis are done, we'll stick it in a food processor. Go on. All right, seven more to go. Oh, you're having a go, Chloe? Yeah. Ah. Uh, sorry about that, I was uh, just trying to change my camera. What? Where have you been? What? Where have you been? Nowhere. Why have you got that on your arm? You know what, no, Daddy got a tattoo at the weekend. You look like retro. I look like retro? Yeah. Where did you get? I don't even know. A minute ago you didn't have tattoos. Yeah. I got it done at the weekend. Mm. Ah! Well, that was funny. Nice trick, Daddy. Do you want to have a tattoo on your arm? Oh, yeah. Want to try it? Yeah. Macho Mia. <laughs> <laughs> Nacho Mia. She's saying Nacho Man, I'm sure. Yeah. Mummy's going to freak out when she comes home. We're putting the kiwis in, and finally, we actually peeled them. Yeah. It did took us a lot of time. This thing's really cool. It's got like a lemon version as well, so it um, gets the juice out. Apparently you need one and a half limes, but to avoid uh, the kids arguing over who does the other half, we're going to do uh, the juice of two limes. Because they may look like little angels, but sometimes they can be a little bit, um... Naughty. Yeah. That's it. Twist. Wow, we're getting so much juice in there. Wow. Now, in a minute, they have to test that that is actually lime juice. That's the deal, right? Yeah, twist it on like, oh, yeah. My mind's telling me no. There's no ballet, no ballet, seven days. Mess with me. <laughs> All right, come on. Oh, oh you look like some sort of bouncer at a nightclub. <laughs> With your tattoos on. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit sour. Now, apparently, instead of kiwi fruit, if you wanted to, you could use gooseberries. I would have preferred that. I much prefer gooseberry. Let's blend it. And if you want, uh, we are going to blend it up, but to add a bit more greenness, you can add in some food colouring. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> well, that's your popping off. <laughs> that's the thing that makes it pop off. Is um, it? That's, that's all of it, is it? All right. We're going to have to hold this down when we blend it, all right? Oh, great. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh. Yes. We okay. good? Uh, Make sure that the vent thing is uh, not covering the spout. You want to do it, Chloe? Other way, other way. Switch yeah. isn't on. <laughs> I didn't turn it on. <laughs> I've actually got a smoothie maker. Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Crikey! <laughs> Crikey! This will do it because this is powerful. Now we're talking. That yeah! is done. That's my muscles. <laughs> <laughs> it's leaking. I can see all the bogies coming through. So the next step is to pour some drinkable raspberry yogurt. 100 millilitres we need. Yes. 
perfect. Now, pull this in. I'm going to scrape it in. It looks like mushy peas. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's all getting all bands and yeah. We found some more food colouring. Go on, look at the green on that. Yeah. Looks like a witch's. That's better. <laughs> oh, you look like a normal girl again. Oh. You've got your real tattoo showing. <laughs> you have got a real tattoo, look. These have got tattoos. Oh, they're, are they they're stickers? They're kid-friendly ones. Oh, okay. Maybe we need lemonade and soda. Okay. Woo! 300 mils. I can even smell. Smells of vanilla, mate. Woo! That just sprayed me. 100 mils! Oh my gosh. Are those bubbles? How is it? Oh my gosh. Is that good? That's really nice. Come here kids. Basically, we've made that now, right? Yeah. And it's all about your serving vessel and there's one thing that goes in it which makes it bubble and that's like a vitamin C tablet. One of those. <laughs> so we're going to put them into some serving glasses. We have to drink it and we have to serve it immediately. Ooh. I'm going to go get the glasses. Woohoo! We only added about maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of the gel, but it really took up a notch, didn't it? Now Barry Lewis or Barry Scott, he is going to pour the <laughs> rock scuttle in the jugs. Yes. Oh, that looks weird. Mm. Nice. I like how it's got the bits in it. I'm going to come in close for this one. That's really cool. That looks awesome. Yeah, awesome. So for reference, the tablets we're dropping in are vitamin C ones. Um, I tend to have these when I have a hangover, actually. They're really, really good. Do you know what a hangover is, kids? No. Good. Put it from she's not a kid. She's a grown-up. So there's enough for me as well now. What are you Mrs. Doing? Barry's come back. Why are you eating it? You're going to dissolve it in water. <laughs> Oh we had some off cuts, I've only given the girls half a tablet. Wow! Don't put those in your mouth, girls. <laughs> yeah, you do dissolve it in water. Yeah, normally. Is it your tongue? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Can I <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. Two, one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Can you it's see your mind? It's bubbling. Look on that side, you can see it bubbling. And that yours, turn them around, look. Wow, oh yeah, oh, it's dissolving. Look. You can see it, all the bubbles going up. Look at mine and Chloe's. Wow. Oh. That's awesome. Yeah. Down in one. Down it, yeah. No. <laughs> Go on, down it. Go on then. No. Get your tats on. This is not the Sorry. Oh, mm. wow. Oh Guess my what? goodness, I've never tasted anything with so much bubbles in it. That is so oh. like, yeah, tangy. That's like tangy, Ugh. orangey, creamy soda. Yeah. yeah, that's not... Are you just kissing it, Chloe? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's like the most strangest thing I've ever tasted. You've got, <laughs> got green mustache. Well, well done, girls. Give me five. Nice. <laughs> just a tap. Thank you. Guess that's bizarre. Bizarre. That is bizarre. Mm -hmm. Very bizarre. But yummy. So this recipe is from quite an old book, I think. Roald Dahl's Revolting Recipes. Uh, so that's it. Full credit to them and all that stuff. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for regular videos. Let us know any recipes you want us to try next on this playlist. And um, are you alright? You enjoyed that? <laughs> you got it on to your nose. <laughs> <laughs> alright. Let's see. Are your teeth green? No. Oh! oh. <laughs> ah. You didn't really drink it, did you? Ah. <laughs> Alright, see you next time. Bye. 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 Done. That's the last video you'll do in this kitchen, girls. That's a good one. This is really nice. <laughs>